outdoor kitchen ideas for every budget is coming at you right now. These outdoor kitchens turn up the heat in backyard living, offering more flavor than ever. Since the Stone Ages, we've been cooking outside and it hasn't lost its appeal. Outdoor entertaining has countless choices with plunge pools, custom spas, elaborate fire features, and even drop down booty screens. But what brings atmosphere to the party? It's food and liquid refreshment. We're human, we eat. Isn't that the point of moving our outdoor kitchens outdoors? Outdoor kitchens are here to stay and they're sizzling, hot, hot, hot. So let's get this party started. So we're gonna take three different properties and we're gonna show you some of the highlights of these outdoor kitchens. If you can't take the heat, get out of the outdoor kitchen. So you'd have to be completely clueless not to be awed by this stunning outdoor kitchen with custom wood ceiling, with skylights and heaters, plenty of outdoor kitchen appliances and loads of storage. The roomy outdoor bar seats sick. We added special lighting with fun color options. This amazing kitchen has two sinks, two outdoor TVs, counters to die for, and a wood-fired pizza oven. See why we say outdoor kitchens turn up the heat? How about wasting away in Margaritaville? Finding your lost shaker of salt should be a breeze in this tropical outdoor kitchen. So it might not be Aruba, but it's a close second. Belly up to the pool bar for the game. It seats six. The two-tiered counter keeps food service and food prep apart. The Wall Island hosts loads of counter and storage space. A retractable awning. I wanted to show you this awning. As you can see, we've got this beautiful property here. We got this awning. And what we could do is automatically, with a remote control, make it go out, fully out. Also has the lights on it at night. Very, very convenient. Let you see another angle here. Totally disappears. This outdoor kitchen serves as a fully equipped outdoor living bar and serving station. Two built-in ice buckets in each island keep soda, water, and other beverages ice cold. Cerveza, anyone? Not a beer drinker? A built-in outdoor wine cooler is sure to please those who prefer a glass of vino. Swim up bar stools in the pool are also located near the kitchen bar for pool service and hangout zone with a TV and view. The other end of the kitchen, a bar island with plenty of storage is located. We're not isolating the chef, however it keeps smoke and sizzle away from the guests. So our next property is the McKenna property. This is how we do it, it's got all the best kitchen ideas. This galley style outdoor kitchen with every amenity, it boasts custom wood ceilings and skylights. The amenities are numerous with two grills, an oven, a trash compactor, a kitchen sink, rotisserie, storage space, and counters galore. This everything at your fingertips outdoor kitchen sits next to an elegant water feature. So the next thing I wanna talk about is design and how important design is for your outdoor kitchen and your backyard in general. So I always say the importance of design is creativity. You might take a photo of something and start to design the whole space around that photo. With our creative abilities, we're gonna take your house and be able to design the space that's perfect for you, the architecture of your home, and for your family. We will design the space for your personality. We know everything there is about outdoor kitchens. I've been doing this for 28 years. I would hate for you to design it or to start installing it and for it to not be right. So get a design, it is a no brainer. Okay, so what is the best recipe for your outdoor kitchen? Well, if you're creating an outdoor kitchen in your landscape, what would you add to turn up the heat? With the explosion of outdoor kitchens and the products in the last 10 years comes homeowner choices. Where is the optimal place for your kitchen in your landscape? Huge question. Big and fancy or small and compact? Gazebo or pergola? Full kitchen or kitchen grill island? So many choices to cook up the best recipe for your family and your property. What kind of ingredients do you want? Ever check out the trending appliances in outdoor kitchens? Nowadays, outdoor kitchens, the man exercises their right to grill and the ladies have their conveniences at their fingertips. But when it's time to feed a hungry crowd, having the basics makes it a breeze. Why don't we start with a little appliance we like to call the kitchen sink. Outdoor kitchen sinks and outdoor living. Ladies, I ask you, what's just as important to an outdoor kitchen as a gas grill? Easy. 
an outdoor kitchen sink. Running water at the turn of a faucet is luxury wherever you are. We can't say enough about bars and outdoor kitchens. They're becoming a fundamental design element. So take a look at this project. It's the brand property. It has a compacted bar. It's an entertainment bar. Yes, it boasts a fire pit and a living area, but the focal point of the landscape design is the outdoor kitchen bar. So with eight bar stools for the guys and the gals hanging out together, you can imagine how everyone, even in this small space, can gather here. Let's check out some backyard bars. So here's a pro tip to add seats around a bar post. Take a look at this. These are mini bars and they're fun and functional. And speaking of kegerators, when you think of outside on a game day, what comes to your mind? Brewskis? Yes, every man and woman love an ice cold beer on a hot summer day. Well, even a semi-hot day for that matter. What makes sense then to add it to your everyday outdoor bar life? These smart homeowners when you design an outdoor kitchen, tell the designer to put in a tap. So it got egg, the big green egg smoker. It's a beast of a charcoal grill and smoker. It's another option trending in outdoor kitchens. Recently at a friend's barbecue, one of these little green cookers stole the show. The steak and the chicken was melt in your mouth tender and the men in the group engaged in a mine's better type discussion about the grill smoker. Some choose both in their backyard setups. So guest friendly flat top grill. So flat top grills are hot. Why? Well, what other grill allows guests to cook it their way? They call it a cooking platform. All in all, it's a grill with a bit more cooking versatility. One of our homeowners recently opted for an Evo. They're so cool. It's like an all purpose everything grill. You can cover it with a lid and you can cook pizzas. You can take the cover off and it's a griddle or a barbecue. So the biggest thing I want you to think about when you're thinking about an outdoor kitchen is convenience. You want everything at your fingertips right there, just like you're in your house, but you're in your outdoor space. Remember, people are using their outdoor living spaces to entertain in. We're talking about big groups of people. You want all the modern conveniences of your inside and in your outdoors when you're hanging out with your friends and your family. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is dishwashers, refrigerators, and ice makers. First of all, I love dishwashers for cleanup. Super easy. I love refrigerators and ice makers because it's all at your fingertips when you're in your outdoor space. You don't have to run back into the inside. It's all right there. I love both of them. I have two ice makers in my own place as well as two refrigerators and I love them. I don't know what I would do without my outdoor refrigerator and ice maker. Our next outdoor kitchen must is a trash drawer. And this is a very simple thing, but very, very important to think about. Keep the critters away at night. So outdoor TVs are another thing to consider for your outdoor kitchen. I love it because the modern person seems to be watching TV at all times. So why not have the game as you're grilling outside? Why not have a movie for your kids to be able to watch during the after their playtime outside. It is very nice. By the way, if you don't want to watch TV, you can just have a nice photo going with music in the background. So I get a lot of flack from people because they want their outdoor space for nature, which I get and I agree with, but how nice it is to have the option whether or not to turn it on or leave it off. TVs are a strong thing to consider. I personally love them. All right, the next thing is a must and it's storage. Think about storage. I actually had an outdoor living space that didn't have enough storage. So I don't want you to underbuild your outdoor kitchen. You have to make room for storage. So think of all the different storage types you can add. You can add doors, you can add drawers, you can add a door drawer combo, or you can add shelving. But think about storage for your outdoor kitchen. It is so important. All right, we have one of the most essential things for your outdoor kitchen, it's lighting. You need outdoor lighting because a lot of times you're grilling in the evening hours. So from the inside, looking to the outside, I want you to light up your outdoor kitchen because it's gonna pull you outside. Lighting is safety. The elderly ones in your family are gonna be out there and you wanna make sure to light up your space, light up your kitchen, light up your extended outdoor living space for safety 
and just the cool factor of how it looks at night. Lighting changes the outdoor space. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is fans and heaters. These are essentials because you wanna cool off the space for sure during the summer months. That's when you're gonna be doing your grilling, but also heaters are perfect to, so you can grill for seasons. Even in the winter time, you're gonna be out, you're gonna to wanna to use your grill, so heaters are perfect. So I'm always here to help with design. I want you to remember that, but I'm also helping people around the United States and really the globe with finding contractors, kind of pairing a contractor with the homeowner after we get the design done. So remember that I could help you find the right contractor in your local area for your outdoor living space. Now I want you to see a lot of different styles. We're gonna just throw montages at you right now. So take a look at all these small outdoor kitchen designs. Now take a look at all these medium outdoor kitchen designs. And don't forget about those large, grand outdoor kitchen designs. Here we go. So we just gave you a few ideas of covered structures there, but I wanna give you a whole video now on the different styles of covered structures, enjoy.